The big outrage, his name is Juma. Remember it and tell your kids about him. He's a hero and he's only six years old. Terrorists in Afghanistan tried to trick him into doing their dirty work, but they picked the wrong kid. Big story correspondent Douglas Kennedy has more on the little boy who made a big decision and saved his own life in the U.S. troops. Yeah, he, he definitely saved the U.S. troops, and he also definitely saved himself after the Taliban terrorists put a bomb on his back and told him it was a toy. Now, some say it's yet another sign of the complete depravity in the wicked world of Muslim extremists. <laughs> He has the smile of a happy six-year-old, sweet and vulnerable, which may be why terrorists targeted him for a terrible trick. The bomb was placed in a vest and it was wrapped around my body and a wire was attached to my hand. His name is Juma Ghul and he lives with his family in southern Afghanistan. He says last month Taliban fighters forced him to wear a suicide vest, which they told him would spray flowers on American soldiers. Luckily, Ghoul says he realized it was a bomb and he went straight to Afghan soldiers. In the past, Taliban fighters have enlisted pre-teens as soldiers. And recently, terrorists began turning more and more to women for suicide missions. Some have even been pregnant, others pretending to be pregnant. Still, some say trying to trick a tot to blow himself to bits may be a new low, even for the Taliban. It's disgusting. It's appalling. He says this is an important reminder to America about the kind of enemy we're fighting. I think the episode reminds us of the bloodlessness, of the ruthlessness, of the mercilessness of these Islamofascists and why we must redouble our efforts to defeat them. He says we must keep that in mind, John, as we continue to fight terrorism.